some strengths into you. And this is, you know, really, 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 really important. It's so important, isn't it, Jenny? Well, I think we get trapped in a, a little bit of a politeness loop and we end up deceiving ourselves. Now, that may sound a bit of a strong word, but it's time to be honest and to simplify the language a little bit in that um, it keeps sneaking back in, it keeps sneaking back in, the procrastination. So what I think it might be is that once we think we want to do something for ourselves, that is me time. It's been reframed to me time, but it's actually time spent for myself, to do something for myself. You see, we've even reframed it in society so that it's not even for ourselves anymore. It's me time. But when you want to give something to yourself, when you want to do something for yourself, it brings up that kind of ickiness of selfishness and being um, not giving to others. Yes. You do something for you. Yeah. Well, there's all this washing up to be done here before you have your me time. How can you go and have a bath when there's a, a kitchen full of dirty dishes? dishes? <laughs> so is that it, Sarah? Is it, um, is it a selfishness thing? Do you think it's being selfish to have your me time? And as it creeps back in, that means also as it sneaks back in. See that language? It's sneaking back in which means you, you have addressed it. You have addressed this me time. I'm just purely looking at language patterns. If it's sneaking back in like a little demon, then uh, you have addressed it and somehow it is sneaking back in or are people taking your time? Are people demanding you do things for them instead of doing it for you? It, maybe it's not sneaking as much as you think. Maybe it's a kind of, uh, strategic attack from one's family that <laughs> you do things for them rather than you do things for you. I think mm. Claire's got a really good idea there to, to actually schedule 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And, you know, this is why people have cigarettes. And this is why people just go into the shop for a paper. Do you really need a paper? Or do you want to walk <laughs> and get away from the rest of the family? <laughs> <laughs> like if you're brushing your teeth yeah and it is linked to values isn't it and there's a i won't get too techy with this but there is a an nlp filter called moving towards and moving away from so brushing your teeth do you brush your teeth in order for them to be nice and shiny and look white or do you brush your teeth to go away from them being um, grotty and giving you bad breath? You know, <laughs> for what reason? Where's your motivation? That's what we're talking about. With procrastination, we need motivation too. What moves us towards something? Is it like the carrot and the stick? So I'll ask you, Claire, brushing these teeth, is it to make them nice and shiny or to stop having grotty breath? Oh, for me, nice and shiny. Yay! Yeah. Yes. Good, 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 good. <laughs> now, I, I, you know, I always like to be positive, but I will say that this, um, uh, these stretches I do every morning for my back, I say for my back, it's for myself. My back is part of myself. But you see, I'm not saying for myself because that sounds selfish. I have to. Hmm, I want to. I do most mornings some stretches for my back because yeah. I actually enjoy them as well. I actually enjoy doing a bit of yoga every morning. But, I, you know, whoever I've been with, I, I kind of um, – I'm a little reticent in – enjoying that idea of saying i love doing my exercises i have to do my stretches every morning because it helps my back i know that if i don't do them claire 
some point during the day, I might go to pick something up or move a chair in the wrong way, not addressing my posture, and then I would suffer for it. So I know, and I've ingrained that into my morning routine, if you like. Yeah. It's moving away from pain rather than a moving towards pleasure. I do these exercises every morning because I know with my timeline, I know in the future I might suffer if I do not. And then mm. I, I start to do them because I'm moving away from pain or the possibility of pain. I'm actually then moving towards pleasure because I enjoy doing them. And it gives mm. me a break from the rest of the household, etc. And And it's a little bit of me time. <laughs> but it, I justify it by saying, yeah, I have to do them. I have to do yeah. them or else, you know, something awful might happen to super ma yeah the the super duper mother that i am if i don't do these things then it, uh, if i don't take the time for me you know we talk about spending money and it we can all compare what we think is a value and all the special deals that are on at the moment and what we should buy etc you can always get more money somehow you never get more time how about that that's a big reframe for me. You know, in getting older, you never get that time back. Mm. And, you know, what do you want to have written on your gravestone? Was always doing wonderful things for other people. You know, the kitchen was always spotless. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Sarah says, I do think I've always found it selfish. It's, it's, uh, we, I think we probably have, this is probably, beliefs and values that was grown up as you grown up in your family you may have had that as well uh sarah people are may actually made you feel feel like if you were doing something for yourself that was selfish and that's probably why you're feeling so strong about it i don't know i don't now oh, okay since my recent experience with you oh well, there you go <laughs> <laughs> now i seem to want to get all the things done first then time for myself tend to be end up not happening okay so yeah your priorities have changed then you're putting all the priorities than yourself before yourself yeah and that's it and, and recognizing that we have that choice so we've got say 15 minutes to do something 15 or 20 minutes let's say in that 20 minutes, I could be cleaning the kitchen or I could yeah. be doing this thing. And maybe I'm choosing to do the kitchen because if I did this thing for me, I'd, mm. I, I wouldn't enjoy it because I'd be worried about the kitchen. Mm. You know? So knowing that yeah. it's a choice is helpful. However, I do guarantee, and I think Claire will agree, that if we put, there's always something else to do first. And sometimes you've just got to do this thing and you tend to find that people who love you actually delight in you doing something for yourself. Oh, you did that. That's wonderful. That's great. I'm, I'm really glad you, you did that for yourself because I like to see you happy. Exactly. I do I like actually to like to see you happy. They it's not so much that they, yeah, you know, you can do things for them and they will accept it and they're quite grateful in their own way. Though you being happy with them in the time that you can spend with them is far more impactful for you sitting there all complacent and self-righteous thinking, I've cleaned the kitchen. Has anybody noticed? It's wonderful, isn't it? Look how sparkly the kitchen is. I might be exaggerating. And we seem to have a focus on kitchens at the moment and washing up there. <laughs> I think it's just they're just too much. They're in it all the time. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> but it, 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 but it, 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 selfish. And, and I, I think self-referenced is a nice reframe, isn't it, Claire? To sometimes oh, yeah. refer to oneself as mm -hmm. well as others. Mm -hmm. If we refer to others, which is an NLP filter, if we if our prime modality, the way that we operate is to look after as you tend to have to be as a mother if you're not that way inclined you have to be once you become a mother to some degree you have to look out for others though there's this balance about 
referring to others is everybody else okay okay are they all okay right now i can refer to myself what do i need what do i want what can i do for me because when you refer to yourself like you say putting your own oxygen mask on first then you're far more able and willing let's remember mm. the willingness we're far more willing to help others and to look after them when we're feeling good and we've attended to our own needs. And that mm -hmm. is referring to self. That is being self-referenced rather than self-ish. Mm -hmm. 